Hello and welcome to this video on environmental externalities. In this video, we will explore the concept of environmental externalities, how they impact our environment, and what we can do to mitigate their effects. So, let's get started. Understanding Environmental Externalities Environmental externalities are the costs or benefits that result from the production or consumption of goods and services, but which are not reflected in the market price. In other words, these are the costs or benefits that are imposed on third parties and not directly accounted for by the producers or consumers. For example, when a factory produces goods, it may emit pollutants such as carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide, and nitrogen oxides into the environment. These pollutants can have harmful effects on the environment, such as air and water pollution, climate change, and biodiversity loss. However, these costs are not reflected in the price of the goods produced by the factory, which means that the factory does not bear the full cost of its actions. Similarly, when a person uses a car to commute to work, they emit pollutants into the environment, which can cause harm to the environment and human health. However, the cost of this pollution is not reflected in the price of gasoline, which means that the person using the car does not bear the full cost of their actions. Types of Environmental Externalities There are two types of environmental externalities, positive and negative externalities. Positive externalities are benefits that are enjoyed by third parties as a result of the production or consumption of goods and services. For example, when a person installs solar panels on their home, they produce clean energy, which reduces the amount of pollution in the environment. This benefits the community as a whole, even if they do not have solar panels installed on their homes. Negative externalities, on the other hand, are costs that are imposed on third parties as a result of the production or consumption of goods and services. For example, when a person uses a car to commute to work, they emit pollutants into the environment, which can harm the environment and human health. This cost is not reflected in the price of gasoline, which means that the person using the car does not bear the full cost of their actions. The Impact of Environmental Externalities Environmental externalities have a significant impact on our environment and human health. They can cause air and water pollution, climate change, and biodiversity loss. Air pollution can cause respiratory problems, heart disease, and other health problems. It can also damage crops and other vegetation, which can have a significant impact on the food supply. Water pollution can cause health problems, such as gastrointestinal illness and other diseases. It can also harm aquatic life, which can have a significant impact on the ecosystem. Climate change can cause a variety of problems, such as sea level rise, more frequent and severe weather events, and changes in the distribution of plant and animal species. These changes can have significant economic and social impacts, such as increased property damage, loss of agricultural productivity, and displacement of people from their homes. Biodiversity loss can have significant impacts on ecosystems and human well-being. Biodiversity loss can reduce the availability of food, water, and other natural resources. It can also reduce the ability of ecosystems to provide services such as carbon sequestration and water filtration. Section 4. Mitigating the effects of environmental externalities. There are several ways to mitigate the effects of environmental externalities. One way is to internalize the external costs. This means that the producers or consumers of goods and services should bear the full cost of their actions. For example, a carbon tax could be imposed on the production of goods that emit carbon dioxide, which would make the cost of production more reflective of the environmental costs. The revenue generated from the tax could be used to fund environmental projects, such as renewable energy or conservation efforts. Another way to mitigate the effects of environmental externalities is through government regulations. Governments can set standards for emissions and pollution, and enforce penalties for non-compliance. For example, the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency APA, sets emission standards for vehicles and power plants, and enforces penalties for violations. Technology can also play a role in mitigating the effects of environmental externalities. For example, renewable energy technologies such as solar, wind, and hydropower can reduce greenhouse gas emissions and air pollution. Advances in battery technology and electric vehicles can also reduce emissions from transportation. Consumers can also play a role in mitigating the effects of environmental externalities. By choosing products and services that have a lower environmental impact, consumers can create demand for more sustainable products and services. For example, choosing to bike or walk instead of driving, or purchasing products made from sustainable materials, can help reduce the environmental impact of individual actions. Finally, education and awareness can also play a role in mitigating the effects of environmental externalities. By educating individuals and communities about the impact of their actions on the environment, they can be motivated to take actions that reduce their impact. 
This can be achieved through campaigns, advertisements, and education programs. In conclusion, environmental externalities are costs or benefits that are imposed on third parties as a result of the production or consumption of goods and services. They can have a significant impact on our environment and human health. However, there are ways to mitigate the effects of environmental externalities, including internalizing external costs, government regulations, technology, consumer choices, and education and awareness. By taking action to reduce our environmental impact, we can create a more sustainable future for ourselves and future generations. Thank you for watching.